Rise and shine, family. All right, look, so I put this post up. It says, a man missing from the home exposes the child to many negative statistics as far as what can happen to them without the resources and protection of a father. However, a toxic single parent who is in the child's life, mother or father, will have more influence over the child's behavior. See, our children's perspective on life is mostly derived from what they see and experience, not what they don't see or experience. Rise. I've got a few people already commenting saying that what I said was bogus. I can understand that a lot of people are triggered, but I want you guys to imagine that instead of a woman being in this photo, showing her body to the world, imagine there was a man in this photo wearing bandanas, throwing up gang signs and holding weapons with his son. Then maybe you could see the power of influence and how negatively it can impact your child. You understand? We need to understand that our behaviors are what sh shape a child's mind. It's not our teachings. They do what we do, not what we say. So the whole time that we're telling our children, don't do this, don't do that, guess what they're doing? What you do. So they will become someone who says, don't do this, don't do that, but they will actually do it because that's who their parents are. In order to change the world, you must change your behavior. This is how we corporately change the world. That's how we individually change the world, is by changing our behavior. This is why I say, be the change that you want to see. If you want to build a healthy, harmonic home, there's a certain behavior that you must lead. You can't just expect it to happen while you're not giving out good behavior, while you're not being consistent. You know the scripture in the Bible that says, only when you turn from your ways will I heal your land? Well, think about this, family. Only when you change your behavior will you get a different outcome. You can't keep asking someone outside of you to come and save you when the problem is your behavior. You understand? So we have to take a deeper look into the things that we are doing and change those things so that we can be effective into changing the world for the better. We must all change our ways and become a better person. If everyone today worked on themselves and became a better person, we'd have better homes. We'd have better children. We would have better communities. All right, family, please consider this. Peace.